Hey guys, we're gonna try something new today. We're gonna fill an above head. So um, today we're going to install a radiator on a Polaris. And uh, I'm gonna do something different. Uh, I pulled this out and realized what a pain in the butt this is to do. So I decided this might be a good video for uh, my subscribers. Um, Anything from, uh, I believe it's 95 up to 2002, this would apply to. So, just uh, do what I do, but just do it in reverse when you uh, go to take it out. So, um, first things first, we've got everything disconnected. Um, you've got your radiator. This is my replacement radiator, mine was shot. There are two rubber grommets that go in the frame. And they slide on the radiator. So what I like to do is install those in the frame first. Makes it easier. You can uh, slide these little pipe plastic uh, pipes right into the, the grommet. They're like anti-fiber bumps. <clears throat> And this one's a little bit of a pain to get. Alright, so next thing is we're gonna slide that right in and get everything lined up. Go ahead, hook up your um, coolant lines, your thermostat, and your uh, overflow tank or peep tank uh, hose. You don't want to forget about that. You got uh, two bolts that go into the radiator here and here. I'll just double check you got uh, the radiator slid into those rubber grommets because so they're anti fiber mounts, so that's going to help. I'll make sure your, tramp, or your uh, radiator's in the right position. The next step is there's these brackets and that holds your uh, basically your bumper to the frame and your uh, your guard your radiator guard in place just pop that in one on the other side it, uh, slides into the frame and you got these bolts that uh, I'll go in there. These are a little stubborn to get in and out. They have everything lined up and actually this one went nice. Taking it out I had to wrap on it with a hammer. I guess you could call these a frame extender. Um, you just uh, bolt to the front grill, and then when you put your um, your rack mount on over the top of this, up the, the hood's on, the plastic's on, it holds everything all together. And one of my favorite tools. I love using this thing. Talk about speed. You also have a little bug screen that'll slide it in there. And 
And just go in those little notches. Okay, so once you get the little bug screen in place, there's little holes in these side plastic things. You got a little rubber grommet. And, you know, it said this is a pain in the butt. So you kind of got to mush that on and roll it over and try to get that to go in. So then later on, when we put the rack on, only so you can see this now, the rack's going to go into those holes, it'll come up, and then it'll bolt into there. And uh, mine's broken, but I'll show you what I mean. Basically, that'll go into there like that, and like that. So now the radiator's installed. You got your bug shield in. Make sure your wiring's good. Now we get to slide the plastic over. And I just pulled mine back. Make sure your uh, fuel cap is off. Otherwise, it won't go where you want to go. Slide everything forward. Check everything, see what you get hung up on here. Here, my wearing. You know, it's starting to look like something. And there are four screws that hold this cover. There's one there, one there, that's two. And the other two go right here. Mine slid down. I'm gonna push that back up. Everything lined up, push it down. And then uh we're going to get this all buttoned up. Like I said, my favorite tool. Didn't take all that long. Got my screws in place already. pretty much it don't forget to put coolant in your radiator top it off and another thing to keep in mind depending what model you have I've got a two-stroke sportsman and uh, once you fill up uh, your coolants you're gonna have to bleed the the air out of the lines on the uh, the two strokes uh, you're not gonna be able to see it but on top of the head up here there's a little um, bolt that you open up. On the four strokes, there's a bleeder screw on the side of the water pump down here on that side. So you're not getting any circulation. Um, that's uh, 
probably part of the problem. Um, got an air bubble in there that's uh, blocking stuff off and um, crack open that screw, let a little coolant leak out, crack it shut, keep filling her up, run her, make sure you got circulation. While you're this far, double check your fan, make sure it uh, kicks on so it's working, not that you throw a new radiator in and you overheat your engine because the fan didn't work. And uh, yeah, there's not much left, you know. Put your cover on. <clears throat> My bumper and rack's all broken. Not putting that on yet, but kind of showed you how to do that. You'll put that back on, your side panels, and uh, you're good to go. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, hope this helped you out. Um, please subscribe and if you like the video hit the like button and uh, check out my channel. I got uh, you know, 50 or 60 Polaris fixes on here. Anything from two strokes to four strokes. Uh, whatever you got. And uh, if you got any questions feel free to drop me a line. I, uh, I've been doing this for a couple years and I actually lost count of how many of these I restored now. So. Um, yeah, anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.